the only mediator with God. A Bible lesson in seven points. 1. In the 8th century BCE, the prophet Isaiah foresaw that a righteous man would come, suffer, and intercede for us sinners. He poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many, and makes intercession for the transgressors. 2. In the 1st century CE, the Messiah Jesus explained why he had come into the world as a human being. The Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 3. Because of righteous Jesus' death on a cross, God can justly forgive human beings who commit sins. I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world. 4. Because Jesus is righteous. He can protect us sinners from accusation and from every enemy. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. 5. Because Messiah Jesus is risen from death. He will keep on interceding for us forever. He holds his priesthood permanently, because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. 6. Consequently, Messiah Jesus is the only mediator between us sinners and our righteous God. God our Saviour desires all people to be saved. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. 7. Our mediator Jesus makes us acceptable to God, and secures for us an eternal inheritance with God. The blood of Christ, who, offered himself without blemish to God. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. No other man angel or religious leader can mediate between humans and God. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven, given among men, by which we must be saved. Because God is holy, and all humans have become sinners, we could not enjoy God's love, or eternal fellowship with him. Because all humans have become sinners, we were in danger of being lost forever. Because God still loves us, he came into our world, to seek us and to save us who were lost. Jesus was born to a virgin as a sinless human being, and dwelt amongst us, while we were still his enemies. Because we hated him, we killed him on a cross. But God accepted Jesus' death as a sacrifice to remove our sins. Jesus rose back to life, then went up into heaven as our mediator, where he intercedes for us. Jesus remains the only mediator that God himself has provided, who brings us sinners to God, now and forever.